Welcome to Petro Proficient. This video discusses the geological sequestration of the captured CO2. Thank you for watching the video. We are committed to bring forth more videos to enrich your knowledge. Please support us by subscribing to the channel and benefit from the videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about a new video. Thank you. Everything around us is as a result of the use of coal, oil, and gas. When we use them, we emit carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The chart shows an example of different sources of emissions by industry. The largest contributor is the transportation industry. It contributes about 29% of CO2 emissions. Power generation is the most important requirement of modern life. In fact we cannot imagine a life without electricity. Most of the electricity in the developing world is generated by either coal-fired power plant, or gas-fired power plant. They contribute about 25% to greenhouse gas emissions. Heavy industrial processes like cement, fertilizer, chemical manufacturing and, mining for minerals, contribute to 23% CO2 emissions. Residential and commercial buildings contribute to about 13%. Agriculture contributes around 10%. A number of industrial applications of the captured CO2 are being tested for viability. Few examples are Power generation using supercritical CO2 Concrete enrichment with capture CO2. Fuel made from captured carbon. However, any of these applications would need a technological breakthrough to implement them in a profitable way. What is permanent sequestration of CO2? Carbon dioxide captured from different sources, is compressed to a supercritical state, and injected underground into permeable and porous geologic strata. The geologic formation in which the gas is stored must be overlain by another layer of impermeable rock, to seal in the injected CO2. The CO2 will remain isolated for long periods of time and will eventually get converted into mineral. In this illustration, you will see an offshore deep water facility being used for production of gas, and, also for CO2 sequestration. Since the Industrial Revolution, we are putting more CO2 in the atmosphere than it can process, thus causing an imbalance. The world needs several solutions to handle the CO2 that is being emitted.